Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving uh, error code DISM1009. The configuration registry database is corrupt. So DISM stands for Deployment Image Servicing and Management, and this can be used to repair or modify your Windows installation media. And if you are coming across this, more than likely executing a DISM command. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to hopefully resolve it. So we're going to jump right into it. First thing I'd actually recommend trying would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. It will take a couple minutes to finish, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, you can close out of here. Another thing you can try to be to open up the star menu, type in restore. Best result should come back with create a restore point. Go ahead and open that up. Select the system restore button. Restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Select next. Go select the restore point listed in here, select next again, and then select finish to commence the process. System restore cannot be interrupted, do you want to continue? System restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. If system restore is being run in safe mode or from the system recovery options menu, it cannot be undone. Select yes. This will take a few minutes to run guys. I recommend just letting it do its progress here and it will, shouldn't take too long, but just be patient.
Okay guys, you can see the system restore has completed successfully. So I close. At this point, you can just uh, go about your business and hopefully the issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching. Do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.